Hey nerds, welcome back to Birdsong Lessons with Lucy Latwing and today we're here on episode 6 already. So, so far we've covered some of those most familiar garden faces and songsters, the ones you're going to hear most often um, in an average garden, average park, that kind of area. So we have covered the blackbird, the robin, the wren, the song thrush and then the song thrush's cousin, the missile thrush, which was quite a wild card but it is one that you can hear at this time of year. Hopefully you found those helpful. Today we're gonna we're gonna venture a little bit different. We're gonna go down a new route to a whole different gang of birds. So we've been quite thrushy so far, quite heavy on the thrushes. Hello. We're gonna step away from them and we're gonna delve into the finch family. So today's songster is the chaffinch. Hello. Now chaffinches, I think, are such underrated little birds. They're absolutely gorgeous little things. So sexually dimorphic, i.e., the male and the female look quite different. Um, the male has that gorgeous kind of pinky, rosy coloured chest. The female's brown all over. She does look a little bit like a female house sparrow, but she's got a slightly different beak and a little bit of white on the wing to tell the difference. Um, now, these birds can be quite common garden birds. They have declined by quite a bit in recent years. The type of bird you'll notice if you pay attention to the ground in the garden. So there's a lot of ground hopping birds, ones that don't tend to land on the feeders, but tend to scavenge all the scraps from underneath. Um, and that includes things like um, blackbirds, things like chaffinches and things like little dunnocks as well. So hopefully you'll get to see some if you've got some feeders up in your garden. Now for me, the chaffinch song is one of the easiest to learn. It's one of the very first I ever remember learning. Um, and that is because it's, it's quite simple. It's not easy to mix up with other songs and it's very repetitive. When you get a male singing, he'll say the same thing again and again and again you can even get it stuck in your head so it's a really distinct one to pick out so if we take a listen to it the first thing you've got to do the mental picture i have in my mind is that of a waterfall which might sound quite dreamy and airy fairy um, but it's a beautiful image that goes along with how i see the song playing out as i listen to it and that is because the chaffinch song starts from a top note and descends down so you'll listen to this descent in the song so we'll listen for that first if i press play Hopefully you can see that slope, it goes dee -dee 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 So that descent is feature number one to pick out in the Chaffinch song, Waterfall, down. Feature number two, if we just pause that, is you listen to the very end of that song and there is a little scratchy bit. Now one volunteer described this to me as sounding like uh, the Chaffinch kind of blowing a raspberry. So it's got a little bit of attitude, it's a little bit cheeky, cheeky Chaffinch get to the bottom of that waterfall and it kind of goes nee, 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 <clears throat> and it kind of blows that little <clears throat> at the end so if we listen for that it's quite like a little raspy scratchy noise you ready so that was really rubbish so it's got that <clears throat> at the end um hopefully that's quite clear to, to pick out so you just imagine that cheeky little chaffinch little bit of attitude so waterfall raspberry at the end it's just quite a nice little image. So that's it. That's literally it, the Chaffinch song. Possibly the quickest one I've done yet. Really, really easy to pick out. You've just got to remember those two things. Waterfall, raspberry at the end. It's just that lovely little descending song and they'll be starting to sing any kind of week now um, so you can really pick them out. So keep an ear out. Let me know if you've got a different way of remembering it and if you've got any questions about the Chaffinch or any of the other birds we've included so far, just let me know in the comments. Otherwise, thanks again for watching and join me again soon for another bird song lesson.